Oh guys, it is gorgeous. We got the moon on this side. We got the sun coming up on this side. Outgoing tide. We got low winds. The tide's gonna turn around in about an hour, hour and a half. It's Pompano today, guys. That's the plan. Let's get them. I've been out here jigging about 45 minutes. No hits yet. I'm gonna switch over, see if I can snag a sheep's head. The tide is just about ready to stop, so I can probably whack a sheep's head, get some meat in the cooler. We're gonna get back on the pompano when the tide turns around and it's incoming. Got us a nice little fiddler. Do some sheep's head fishing. I bet we can pick up a sheeper. Cheaper, cheaper. Look at that. Oh man, first drop I got whacked. First drop I got whacked. I'm giving them a double fiddler crab delight there, guys. guys this, this is not gonna take long at all. Sheep's head bite is on. First drop, I got whacked. I mean, big time. First drop, baby. That's a hit. That's a hit. He's getting whacked. They cleaned me out. He's on there. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a... That's a beast there, man. That is a good one, baby. We'll take it. We will take it. Heck yeah. Oh my God, that is a tank. That is a tank, sheep's head. Wow. We got the big mamas coming in here, man. We got the freaking big mamas. Holy buckets. Wow. Look at the size of that sheep's head. Woo-hoo! This one bled out right under the fin there. And always go under the gill cover. All right, guys, the best time to catch sheep's head is when the tide is slowing down or it's just starting to move. <laughs> Big old keeper sheeper, nice. I kept these fiddler crabs alive for an entire week. We're getting a nibble. Well, I thought we were. Oh yeah, we, we're getting a nibble. We're you getting a nibble, baby. Yeah, yeah. Not nearly as big as that other one, but looks like a keeper. Looks like another keeper. Another good one, guys. There ain't nothing wrong with keeping some sheep. So oh, yeah, easy. That's a 13 incher. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Five minutes in between sheep. I absolutely love this time of year. You got pompano, Spanish mackerel, and the sheep's head bite is off the chain during the month of March. Yeah, definitely the best time to be fishing at the jetties. Hands down, no doubt about it. That is if you're fishing for groceries. That guy catch a pompano down there a little while ago? Yeah. It was a pompano and he threw it back. Yeah, catch and release, I guess. Oh my goodness. Like yeah, it looked like a good one. Oh, there's another hit. That's just crazy. Oh guys, these 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 fish are just hungry. They are so hungry. I am getting munched on. I think he cleaned me out. No, he didn't. There we go. There's another one. There's another good one. Dude, I just freaking limit out right here. Oh, he came off. Dang it. Dang it. Hey, that's a that's a fish. I thought that was a rock. Oh, we got a rock. I... That one, yeah. <laughs> Woo! 
I thought it was a rock. You stole about five fiddler crabs from me. I got you though. Well, there we go. He wants it. Oh yeah, that guy wanted it there. That guy wanted it. Number three little one I have to throw back. See ya, man. All right, guys, we're going to go down here and jig for some pumps for a little while. All right, guys, I've been jigging, throwing the Pompano jig there for a couple hours. And uh, no hits, not even a Spanish mackerel, but I just saw somebody catch a Spanish down there. I'm going to switch over and fish for sheep's head so I don't get discouraged. The tide is really ripping right now. The water is super stirred up. Maybe towards the end of the tide, it'll start clearing up. I don't know. We'll see, but I, I got to take a break from jigging. I mean, I'm seriously. Pompano, the fish at 20,000 casts, no doubt about it. All right, let's see if we can get it cheaper. Nibble in close. Come on, take it. Get it. He's got it. There we go. He's oh, that's a good one there. That's a healthy one. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh. Look at that. We got another big old keeper sheeper. That sheep's head hit it right next to the rocks. Look at how the sheep's head all cut up right there. There and right there on his tail. He's all, all cut up. I wonder what that's from. Nice. They cannot resist the fiddlers. They just can't do it. I don't have a lot of them left either, guys. I don't know. I got a, got a couple of dozen of these little guys left. See if we can get another one. Yeah, there he is. He's on it. He's on it. There we go. Come out of there, dude. Come on out of there. Come on. You going in the frying pan, maybe. All righty, there we go. Good for you. <laughs> you getting a good shot? Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice size. <laughs> yeah, that's a keeper. called a sheep's head. Sheep's head. See their yeah, teeth? Yeah. All right, guys. Teeth pretty sharp. We got a good one there. Got us know something my favorite time of year. Sheep's head. The reason they come in here, they're so thick this time of year is they're spawning. Sheep's head generally, you'll see them like in individually around pilings, but during the month of March, they come inside of the major inlets to spawn and they school up and they run in big schools, 20, 30, 40 of them. And uh, yeah, when the sheep's head bite is on, it is on. Number four. Pretty sure that's number four. There he goes. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. I stuck him on my last fiddler crab. My last fiddler, man. It's a big one too. It's a giant. It's a giant. That's a beast. That's a big one. That's a freaking monster. Biggest one of the day. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. Big old fat one. Look at the size of that sheep's head. Thing is huge, man. <laughs> I am not kidding you guys. That was the last fiddler crab. No more. I had about three dozen today. Nice. Got five big fat keeper sheepers sweet all right guys let's go over the gear that i was using today i was so excited to get out here and pompano fish literally i slept like two hours i could just tossing and turning waiting for the alarm to go off when it's pompano season i get so excited i love chasing the pompano bite anyway you guys so today 
for the pompano jigging rod i have the shakespeare excursion six foot six it is a medium rod it is all graphite i get them for 20 bucks at walmart they are perfect for jigging it's got the lightweight handle on it i own two of them guys make sure you got to go to walmart and check them out i got nothing bad to say about those rods now i also have that paired up with a 4,000 size runkle reel i'm going to do a six month review on this reel pretty soon i got some good things and some bad things to say about it it's got 15 pound test braid on it and both rods are rigged up with 20 pound test monofilament leader I always buy the cheap stuff zebco brand buck 87 at walmart with inflation it's probably going to be a little bit more now but anyway okay so with my other rod you guys we've got a shimano convergence six foot six graphite rod it's a medium heavy i believe it works great for sheep said fishing i actually got this rod at a pawn shop for like nine or ten bucks ridiculous deal all graphite shimano brand yeah always check your pawn shops i've got that paired up with a pen pursuit three that i actually have a pen pursuit four handle on now this both of these reels are 4,000 size reels what happened to my pen pursuit four that i just got you guys when i was doing the sheep's head collaboration fishing underneath that pier with those crazy waves and the kayak with all those guys yeah well one wave hit me the wrong way and it jammed my pen pursuit four right up against a piling and it just bent the living bejeebies out of the bale broke the spring snapped something else so that reel is pretty much toast and uh but i did steal the handle off of it and put it on a pin pursuit three um the hook that i'm using for the sheep's head is a number one owner brand hook three eighths ounce weight and uh yeah that's it knocker rig i'll put a link here guys i'll put a link here in the description you can check out all the different ways to rig for sheep's head i was so disappointed i didn't even have a spanish mackerel hit today not a ladyfish not a blue runner not a pompano not a nothing on the jig and i jigged for like three hours so yeah the bite was really off today um the, the water was just ugly yeah it was just ugly i only heard a one pompano caught there were a bunch of guys down here jigging for pompano too so anyway thanks for coming along for this adventure thumbs up or appreciate it get out there and go fishing life is fun live it see ya Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one.